Hello, I'm David Rothery. I'm Professor of Planetary Geosciences here at the Open University, and that means I do geosciences or geology, if you like, not just on the Earth, but on other planetary bodies as well. Now, um, I came here a long time ago now to do a PhD uh, using satellites looking down at the Earth to map part of the Arabian Peninsula, and I did geology in the field to back up the satellite work. And over the years it's kind of got turned round and now I'm looking out to space at other planets and I'm using space probes flying by orbiting other planets to, uh, to get the data. These pictures behind me are, are two views of parts of the planet Mercury where I'm, I'm doing my research. Now I do teach a little bit about the planet Mercury um, but more broadly I'm the chairman of the level 2 module S283 Planetary Science and the Search for Life. That's the 30 credit module we we'll take you through the solar system, all the bodies in the solar system, well, all the classes of bodies at least, there's far too many individual bodies, and about what it takes for life to begin and for life to get hold upon the surface or under the ice on these bodies. That's a great level two module. I don't think anybody should be studying geology if they don't learn about other planets as well, because in this day and age, for heaven's sake, we know about so many places you can compare the Earth with. And it's part of the astronomy and planetary science pathway as well. I've also done some writing recently for S111, that's the first 60 credit course you should do if you're studying science. I did the plate tectonics, a bit continental drift, why for different species on different continents. I've also written for level 3 um, a geology course, S309, which tells you about the flood basalts on the planet Mercury here. And I've been running for a long time a 10 point short course, or 10 credit short course, S186 volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunamis and you know, next time there's an eruption or an earthquake or a, or a heaven forbid a tsunami you might see helping the TV news out explaining what's going on because if you run a volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunami course for the Open University you ought to be able to go and talk to the news about it when it happens.